we talking about the smell of the place? The smell of a place is a very powerful concept that I feel can be very helpful in understanding how you can really create an environment um, that will allow the people in your organization to thrive. This concept was shared by Professor Goshal and there's a video online uh, but the quality is very poor. Uh, still it's really worth uh, looking at. Um, it's a recording from 1995 when he shared this concept during the World Economic Forum in Davos. The concept comes down to this. He shares this metaphor. He himself is from India and he tells that when he goes to India in summer um, he feels very tired and in summer it's extremely hot and very humid and of course we know India is a very overpopulated country. So when he goes there he feels tired. This is an environment that really costs him energy. And then he compares it to Fontainebleau where he's been living for a while in France and he says when I go out there and I will go for a walk I can't just walk I want to jump I want to do something I'm really energized. And so he says looking at a company is it Calcutta or is it Fontainebleau? Do you have an environment that is really empowering people, wanting people to do something, energizes them? Or is it an environment that really feels as if there's a lot of pressure on you, where you really are struggling to stay, well, to, to really be there? This week, in preparation for this video, I transcribed the full video, and uh, this was very interesting because it's so much more revealing than just the video, uh, just watching the video. Um, so what he, he, he shares this concept because he believes that in a lot of companies um, we have this, this smell of the place that feels more like Calcutta. And why is that? That is because we have this infrastructure, this system that is about compliance, about people needing to comply to all the rules. We put a lot of constraints on people instead of giving them this area, this environment of allowance, of, of enabling. He sees four elements that um, are key to creating an environment that is like Fontainebleau. He says it's an environment of stretch where you give people the possibility to stretch themselves to go beyond what they thought they could you know the feeling of jumping doing things to really get out of yourself stretch then of discipline you need to be disciplined but then for the management it's um, an environment that is supportive instead of controlling and then the last one which is critical is trust if you don't trust people it will be an environment of fear they won't have the guts to go beyond their comfort zone. So looking at your company, looking at your environment, is this an environment that is empowering or is it an environment that is constraining? And nowadays with the introduction of agile working, there's um, a lot of interest in this concept of the smell of the place because it all ties into the difference between enabling change or enabling transformation. Change is where you try to enforce a new reality. So you introduce a new method and you think that having this method will get you to a new place. Transformation is enabling people to step in themselves, to give the conditions that people need and everyone needs something different to really step into this new reality, to allow different way of thinking, whereas change may just be a different way of working, more um, looking at a method instead of the underlying um, convictions. So it's all about believing that your people can do more, or that, that your people are key to your success. 
So what do you want to give them? You don't want to give them something that looks and feels like Calcutta. But you want to give them an environment that is as powerful and as empowering as Fontaine and Bleu. There's a nice exercise that you can do um, to, uh, with your team to look at your environment, at, at the team environment, at the setting, and to share this metaphor of Calcutta and Fontainebleau and ask the team what in our environment feels more like Calcutta and what in our environment feels more like Fontainebleau. And then discuss what can be done, which simple things can be done, maybe simple, but looking at trust, trust is a really big thing. Uh, but what things can be done to make a shift that goes more toward Fontainebleau? And having this conversation with your people, just having it um, gives everyone the chance to look at their working environment differently. It's so important to understand that whatever you give people is energy. And if you give them the right energy, the positive energy, then they will thrive. If you give them a negative energy, then it will cost a lot of effort to just be in that space. I will share the transcript of this video because it is really powerful and it's worth reading. Um, and I do recommend you to watch the video of um, uh, the talk of Professor Goshal himself. But I felt it would be very helpful to share the concept in uh, a clear way so that you can start thinking about this and, and see if you can do something in your own working environment, in your own setting, with your team, in your organisation, to be more aware of this positive environment that feels like Fontainebleau. Well, good luck.